Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day. Shantae here. So I want to welcome you to another collab for the year of 2021. Um, this is called the Craft Vault 2021 collab, where we um, get together and we create projects um, the third Friday of every month using items um, that we have not used in over six months or never used for that matter. Um, so yeah, I am super excited about this collab. I think I'm more excited about this one than any other one. And of course, this is hosted by Jamie, who is Poet Spice here on the YT. So all the links will be in the description bar below. We look forward to your support. And I'm sure there will be um, giveaways and etc. down the line. So um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So I am using the Blessings Box from Divinity Designs. Um, I had never used this. I got this back in um, January the 17th of 2020. And this was the very first box. I do believe when they announced that they was doing them. So I only make stuff when I feel as I feel it, as you all know by now. So this was the very first blessing box that we got. So, um, you got sequins. I think I did a, a video on this. I'm not sure. Sequins, um, stamp set, um, shaker peak, the windows. You got this beautiful die set. Um, this sh uh, shaker window. That's the uh on the sleeve for this stamp set. Um I think we got the strips to make the sh uh shaker. And as you can see, you got a paper pad, paper, um shimmer, uh paper, sheen paper. It was a very good kit. You can go back and watch it if you would like to to see what all came in the kit like i said i think i did a video i'm not for sure um but divinity shows all their stuff so that's why i'm not taking a lot of time and uh going through this stuff step by step and i didn't record an unboxing because for that reason but just to give you an idea got a full um six by six paper pad papers See how pretty that die cut is? I've got six or seven packs of sequins. And, uh, but I really do like these right here. Right here. I really do like those. So that is what I use. So let me get the cards that I made. Because that's what I made um, for this round. All right. So, here is one card right here. Oh, and another thing that I like about their boxes, they give you a sheet with, like, uh, inspiration and stuff on it as well. So, if you're stuck, you can always do that. So, here is this one. And on the inside, I just... Um, use whatever strap scraps uh scrap piece of paper that was left so that's the first one right there and you can see the layers to the um die cut and what i did was um whatever came from out of these i just used them all over and then i put the rest of them in a cup so i can have the punch outs from this and then this is stamped with the decada black ink so that's the first one here's another one and i made a shaker yep that's why i don't like using uh foam even when you um dust the stuff off it still the sequence still stick so that's um the second one like i said just using whatever's left 
All right. Here's another one. And because I didn't have a whole bunch of the paper, I cut the uh, heart out of this for another card, but then I used the negative for this card. So it went, anything would go to waste. And that's the background paper, and I just inlaid the layer right there. That's the inside. Here is another card that I made right here. Um, the cutouts, these are these are the inside of that shaker die. Like I said, I ain't trying to uh, lose anything, anything, so I'm trying to use it all. <laughs> now, those little clear uh, dots, excuse me, I got Titan. It's this Elizabeth Craft Craft Dots Craft Drops. I really do like these right here. Okay, and that is just some um, ribbon, clear um, ribbon I had, and that's the inside right there. And that love die, that's from another Divinity Designs um, die set that says love. So I tried to use all their stuff as much as possible, at least. Okay, here's another one. Another shaker. I love you with all my heart. And um, this twine is from Jute. Excuse me, it's from Hobby Lobby. So that's that one. Like I said, that's why I like using car stock for my layers instead of foam. But that's that one. Okay. And then my last one is this one. And how I got the color from the pattern paper to the stamp and the dies. I used Catherine Pooler's ink. Um, party dress. Yeah. I used party dress. And stamp the image. And then how she shows you how to make your own um, pattern paper. By just swiping the ink pad on white paper. That's what I did to get the hearts to match. So I did that. And that's it. So I made six cards for today. And if we hadn't had the challenge, I about would have made any. So, um... Y'all make sure y'all check out everybody else's channel. So, again, I'll just go through them and show you my cards. And my last one. I love, I absolutely love that die. I think it's three layers. I think three or four layers. I love it. All right. So I can't wait to see what the other lovely ladies um, did for you. Uh, created for us for our viewing pleasure. And it was good to pull out a kit that I've had actually this month, one year, that I had never used. So we'll see what else I can dig out for the rest of the upcoming months. So you guys have a blessed day. And I will be back with a video. Um, hopefully. Bye.